Now let's go about creating the windows. So far, so far it looks quite nice. I'm actually quite pleased with that. So if we go back to our image, what type of windows should we create? Uh, do we have a little bit zoomed in? Hmm. Well, this doorway is an arched way, so we're not going to worry about that doorway. So maybe we should just pick something else up for now. And on the next building, let's go ahead and create an arched doorway. But for now, oh, come on. All right, let's free ball it. Okay. I am going to control R here, control R here. Why did I do that? Control Z, control Z. That's not what I wanted. Control R. And let's put the windows here. So at, I don't know what that is. Let's go 0.5. Control R. And it'll be 3, 2.5 plus 0.5 is 3. So that's the height of our windows. Let's put another line up here, 4.5. No, because this is 4. Point, uh, that's 2.7, 2.25. So is this going to be 2.75? Brilliant. Control R. Let's do this size. Whoa. S. X, how big that, yeah, about there. Let's go 1.25, control R, middle mouse, size 1.25 on the X, there we go. <coughs> so I'm going to right click, right click, right click, right click, shift D X, nope, Y, and let's bring them forward. Okay, so first things first, let's create a border. I'm going to press I. And let's make it a nice thick border, I'd say. And then we got Alt, right click, Alt, shift, right click, Alt, shift, right click, Alt, shift, right click, right in the corner there, so we get that full circle. From here, let's extrude out. What else do we have? Kind of looking on these windows, so we've kind of extruded it out, and there's there's almost like a lip on the top and the bottom. Okay, we can do that. Let's select the top and the bottom. I mean the tops there. Let's do extrude E point one. Yeah, and what I'm going to do. No, I'm going to go control Z, extrude 0 0.5, 0 0.05, ext extrude 0 0.05. So now we got that looking thing, which is what I wanted. So the next bit is we're going to change where um, everything or originates. So at the moment, when we do the pivot point, that's what it's called, sorry, the pivot point. At the moment, it's the medium point. So it's the combination of everything that's selected. So if I press scale, it's all from the center there. However, if I change the pivot point to individual origins, so this has got its own origin, this has got its own origin, this has got its own origin. So if I press size there, mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, oops, select that one. I'm going to select that one. I'm going to select that one, select that one. Now we've got the individual origin selected at the moment. If I do size, shift Z, I think that's pretty good. However, I didn't record what I did. So size, shift Z, 1.25. And now we can do it for the same. Oops. Extrude, 0.05, 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 extrude, 0.05,
extrude 0.05 size shift Z so it doesn't go on the uh, Z axis 1.25 oops I did that mistake so control Z I have to select this round bit size shift Z 1.25 and now let's have a look at the windows so it's cool looking windows mm-hmm mm -hmm. I am pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do is select all these as well, control L, and I'm just gonna scale them up 1.05, just a little bit bigger. And then what you can do is as well, so if you're moving too harsh, you can always hold down shift and then it'll move much slower just to get you that fine detail in there. So, It's looking not too bad, not too shabby. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that face and control L. I'm gonna do a shift D, X, and let's just roughly put it there. And up here in the transformation, we're gonna to go to X, I'm gonna say zero, and now I've got that in the center. So now we've got this kind of cool looking building. However, we did say, if I go through and I select all these faces now, Shift D X, Y, sorry, I'm going to Control R, Control R, Control R, Control R, Control R, Shift right click, Shift right click, Shift right click, Shift right click. Now what I'm going to do is I'm kind of making a border. I'm going to do Control B. I reckon that's fine there. Now let's get rid of all these faces. Delete face. I'm going to hold control left click and click and drag. I'm now going to extrude this out a little bit. I'm going to do a control L. And because we've still got the individual orange and selected, I'm going to size, make it a little bit bigger. And now let's put that back in there. Excuse me. And there we have it. I think though it's missing. I think it's missing like a little border. So let's do that. Yep. I'm happy with it. that selection. Shift D. Size. Shift Z. Uh, let's extrude that back in. Size. Shift Z. Um, I think what we might do is just select the outside. Size Y. So it's more uniform. Control L, Control N, just to flip the normals. G, Z. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. However, I'm gonna put that in the middle, another loop cut, and I'm gonna do Control R, and put another loop cut in there. Control L, Scale, Shift Z. Size, shift Z, we don't want it that much. S I can't really see, there we go. Oh, actually, I'm pretty happy with that. Whoops. So to me, that seems like a very nice building. All right, so how about we, we'll leave it there and then we'll come back and we'll try and finish off a roof.